How's it going there ladies and gentlemen? My name is Soul Turtles and welcome back to Bloodborne. Yeah. So I did some upgrading, got some new weapons. Um, so doing a little bit better than I was. This is the weapon that I used last time and I love this weapon. Um, you need to be running a strength build to run this weapon so So you want to make sure that you're running a strength build. Um, so if we head up this way here and we can click this here. A thick bloodstone. Um, There we go, just run past these guys here. Run past these, you could head up the stairs there and go and fight the boss, but if you head left, and you can head to a different area that I recommend to do at this point. Um, really nice to do it at this point and, you know, to be able to go through. So if we head down this way here, um, just make sure to check all your areas if you playing this. You don't want to miss anything. That's an Im important. Guys, strong. Take all these guys out. Thick blood and stone, thick blood stone, and bone ash. Where is this guy? Oh, they're right here. I don't know why they like to uh, group up there, but they do. So that should be cleared out. Um, able to take all those guys out if you sprint at them. Real simple. Open this up. And boom. New area. It is Hemwick's Channel Lane. Of course, in new areas, you always get your first one to pop and be able to spawn back there. So you can see all these, uh, what you would call them, witches. They're easy to deal with. Um, if you be smart about your leveling up and stuff like that. Uh, you can jump and dash forward and knock some around. Stops there hitting hitting you. So you can strike first. Uh bloodstone shard. <laughs> She's gone mad. But hey. It's what she wants. 
Some more madman's knowledge. <laughs> I know it looks like I'm just rushing through it, but they're easy like you don't need to be struggling with them oh. like if you're quick and smart about what you do and not constantly die then you can kill them but if you're having troubles of course not because you're bad, it's just... I know a lot of their moves, like a lot of these guys' moves, so I can avoid them. So here, here's that shortcut that we saw earlier. So this is right next to the lady's house. There we go. You know what? There we go. Dealt with them. Fairly easy. Nothing that you wouldn't be able to handle. Um, if you look at that, the... Oof. Dog scared me. If you look at the horses that don't have eyes, uh, looks like the witches were collecting them for their, uh, their ritual that they were trying to summon. Uh, use this lamp so you guys will be able to see a little bit better. Um, I know it's very dark game. It's not the brightest. Um, so we can head down here, head across here. You were able to hear that guy moving around earlier when I was downstairs. Some more madman's knowledge. And then we got here a uh, bloodstone gem. You can pick up some bullets from that guy. Head back up here. Got that guy. Some more twin blood stones. Some blood eye thingy, my bob. Of course, you don't want to miss anything when you're uh, running about. Um, a lot of things that you need are sometimes really hidden and some other times are just right there in front of you and you'd be like oh that's just some uh, blood vials but don't overjudge a uh, blood vial you know oh, don't overjudge a body that you run into Jeez. A big sword going through your body. Fairly easy to deal with a lot of these guys.
to deal with. We saw this earlier when we first came across. The lake. Well, just lake, not the lake. Uh, another one of those symbols that does the damage up, which is good. Always need those. Some more thickening cold blood stones. Always good to have. Um, so we head over here. And we can open this gate. This is where we first came from. Our shortcut. So now we can head up this way. Just make sure to watch where every guy is. Chest right here. Another bloodstone gem. Always good to have. <laughs> Basically, almost kill each other there, but you know, takes a lot to kill a turtle. <laughs> Oh, some more blood shard, twin blood shards. Always good to have. And here we have it, our next boss. So this boss, it is a little bit of a puzzle. Um, basically, you need to look out for where the boss is here. So we did a bit of damage there, but the thing is with this boss, there are two of them. So I'm gonna bring that one down to half. And then there's this one here. So now I just need to, you know, keep my eye out. Basically, if you have good headphones and you really listen, you can... You can listen to where their trappling feet are. It's easier to find them. Because I know the first time I fought these guys, it took me a few tries. And now since you killed one, the other one will be able to heal this first one. Or the first one that you killed. So you want to try and find them as quick as possible. And there we go. Easy. It's an easy fight. It's not that hard. Um, if you play it smart, you'll be able to do it. Um, so there you have it. Easy boss. Easy to deal with. So now we can light that and we can head down this way, which we will head right into where this guy's had a bad time. It's tied up, get our rune workshop, uh, which we'll be able to put runes on ourselves. But yeah, that guy's not having a good time. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, it's been soul turtles. 
hope you guys en enjoyed. Uh, I'm glad to have you guys be able to watch me play through this game, understand the game a little bit better, uh, to know on how to beat bosses. If you enjoy it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure to share this with anybody, your friends, your family, your cats, dogs, goldfish, whatever. And it's been Soul. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.